Hello and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Picking up kind of where we left off. I've just been spending some time farming basic materials. I tried really hard to not go anywhere that I haven't already been. I mostly picked up titanium, copper, quartz, um, all stuff that we've seen before. Um, I went ahead and I built some more lockers and now I've got like my titanium locker, my copper locker. I've organized some stuff a little bit better. Um, I picked up a couple more creature eggs. This one was new to me. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plant this uh, shrub, this horseshoe shrub in here. And we will we'll see that grow. I've been charging my batteries as well. So um, we're, we're pretty good to go there. I have been reading my my data pad entries, making sure that I haven't missed anything important there. While I was kind of just standing here organizing my stuff, Alan had something else to say. Um, he basically just had another um, artifact location for us. Also, while I was out there, I did run into something that looked kind of weird and like something I hadn't seen before, so I dropped a beacon there. We can go ahead and um, inspect that and see what that is. And then, I don't know, I think maybe we'll see if we can find maybe one of these, if, if one of them is kind of close by. I did make some more beacons so that if I if we run into more stuff I'll be able to drop those and we can find stuff again. Okay, let's go and um, let's go to that uh, the beacon that I dropped first. No, I want to pick it up. Yeah, this. What are? Oh. <laughs> That makes sense. I did see. I did see in my PDA that sea monkeys build nests. I also found uh, one fragment of the mobile vehicle bay already too. So that was my second fragment. So that's that's interesting. That's what that is, huh? It's just a sea monkey nest. So sea monkeys. I was wondering because I read that in their in their entry. I wondered if they would actually steal stuff from from me if I get too close to them or something, but maybe they just have weird stuff in their nests. Is this the same one? <laughs> yeah. um, maybe they just have weird stuff in their nests. They don't necessarily have to steal shit from me. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Haven't gotten close enough to one yet, really, to let them steal from me, if that's something that they do. Alright, so, um... Why don't we head towards this guy? Where's the other one? They're both pretty far away. See, he's carrying something. He's carrying some um, creep vine. Well, he can stay away from me and do that. I'm also feeling nervous about exploring. I haven't died yet this game. <laughs> I feel like it's coming. I feel like we're due. I've been playing this a little bit too careful. I gotta take some more risks. I just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm cautious. I guess I'm, I'm really cautious, generally. Maybe too cautious. Is that a penguin egg? <gasps> I don't like those guys. I do need to scan one though. Oh, it's one of those. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, um, I gotta come back to this. Excellent. That, um, I have a hard time sometimes, uh, 
like reading the the directions and everything with the Pathfinder tool, but just having those little things helps so much for those of us that have a really terrible sense of direction. <laughs> That's me. I haven't really been uh, cave diving yet, but we'll get Warning. there. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Excellent! Nice. We are one step closer to building a sea truck. Actually, we might be able to build one now. I'll have to go back home and take a look. Nice! That was worth it. <gasps> okay, now we gotta get out of here. <laughs> and not suffocate. I remember... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I remember in the last game, um... There were certain things that you wouldn't drop if you suffocated. I don't know if that's the same here. I don't know if they will let you keep certain things like creature eggs or unique items. I don't know. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Seconds left behind of a creature remaining. egg instead of so, uh, what, what, sulfur. <laughs> they left behind like some kind of sulfur, something or other, in the last game. Oxygen. Is this the same little floating guy that I found before? I think it might be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and there wasn't anything here that I missed. It's daytime now. I was here at night last time. Looks good. Looks like I cleared it out. It's kind of interesting, though. Like, this, like, cage or whatever. <laughs> what, what exactly uh, was this for? Should have looked directly beneath it. Huh. I'll take those. I can use those. I'll probably use one right now, in fact. Um, looks like that's about it. For right here, anyway. I've Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I've just gone and gotten myself all kinds of turned around. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna go find this uh, alien artifact, right? No, apparently I was just gonna get distracted and try to cave dive. Okay, um I'm not feeling brave at the moment. I have creature eggs that are new to me that I wanna drop off. And then we'll come back and mess with um, the big guy. I know, I was just saying that I needed to be braver. I'm not brave. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Well, we filled the locker with titanium already. He's growing so good already. He looks great. Amazing. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> I'll try not to pick up anything interesting on my way that I'll be afraid to lose.
The Pathfinder tool emits a sequence of waypoints to mark your route and aid navigation in both terrestrial and athletic environments. Okay, for real this time, let's try to get to... Let me turn one of these off. Uh, let's turn that one off. That should help me a little bit. Let's try to get here. <laughs> Instead of getting distracted. Let's fight beasties along the way and so that we can scan them for their data. I've been here. Let's try to scan these icy boys without getting... Try to scan uh, the guard symbiotes too. Oh, they're so small. Got him. Cool. Where's my marker? It's just about straight down now. I don't think I've been here before. So close. That Pathfinder tool would have come in handy <laughs> if I had thought to use it. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. I will. Um, I have a feeling. Maybe we'll make it after all. Maybe we won't suffocate this time after all. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Or maybe we will in fact suffocate. <laughs> Well, if we do, I think it will have been worth it. Because I can make a laser cutter now. Yeah, um, let's get the hell out of here. I can't believe I keep not suffocating. <laughs> I remember suffocating, losing oxygen so many times, playing Subnautica. <laughs> Ways home. Let's go the opposite direction. I've got some things I'd rather not lose, but um, nothing that I don't already have. Like I've already got sea monkey creature eggs. I've already got gold, though I don't have very much. I will get more eventually. Not a huge deal. Is that another pingling egg? So they stick their eggs onto the sides of ice, it looks like. Onto the sides of the glaciers. Apparently you can trim these, get food. Oh, you can just take them. <laughs> okay. What's down here? Jeez, that scared me. Is that a grab trap? Yep. Cool. Not you. Yeah, you. Oh no. Oh my god. Let's go find one of those big boys and scan them. The guys I keep getting scared of. We are headed out into the unfamiliar wilderness at this point, so... Oh, you were just a glitch. That's okay. It happens. 
Yeah. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. <gasps> Crypto suckus. <laughs> he does not seem to care about me. He did just eat that penguin, though. Okay, maybe he cares about me. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. I'm betting I don't look it right now, but I'm shitting my pants a little bit. Okay, we're doing it. I'm going in. It's probably gonna eat me. Oh my god, oh my god. You crash fish? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it was. Lithium. I don't need you yet, apparently, for anything, but I'm sure I will. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready to face the big boys. We're just getting kind of close to land. What are you? Rock puncher. <laughs> Alright. That's... I'm not gonna try to get too close to you. <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting kind of... close to, um... Uh, the Delta Station. I just turned the, um... I turned the waypoint off. Alright, you know what? Um... Okay, yeah, we can head back home uh, and drop stuff off. Yeah, we're kind of back to familiar territory now, I think. Uh, and yet, the terrifying sounds won't stop. Safety! Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, what did we learn? What did we get from all that? We can make a laser cutter now. Quantum locker? <gasps> Shares content with all other quantum lockers? Oh my gosh. But is it tiny like the waterproof locker? So you can store like eight things and access them any anywhere if you need to access those eight things. Talk to me when you have a full size quantum locker. I think I'll go ahead and build that laser cutter. Oh, never mind. No, I won't. <laughs> we need to find diamonds. We need diamonds. We need magnetite. So far, those are two things that I have not come across. All right, we've read up on our new information, stored our stuff. We have fresh batteries for our sea glide. Let's see if we can make it here. It might be too deep for us. In which case, uh, it might be time to go ahead and build a sea truck. I think we can do that. I just, I honestly, even in Subnautica, I, my favorite way of exploring things was just me and my sea glide. Like, yeah, I like taking my sea moth when I just needed to kind of go somewhere. Um, I did not like the submarine, the name of which I have forgotten. I honestly didn't really like the prawn suit either. It wasn't my favorite. I loved my sea moth. But really my favorite was just scooting along with my sea glide. I don't know. I, I, I just like it. I haven't scanned you. Come at me! He's not interested in me. Which is good. Right, got him. He wasn't too interested in me until I got like right up in his business. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So that's gonna be pretty far down, I think. 
I do have a rebreather, so that will help. Oh no, this looks like a dead end. Nope, I'm not here for you. Seriously? I came all this way and it's a dead end. So, um, it's probably a different cave system. Yeah, okay, I've been here, I think. It just seems like these caves won't go all the way there. Pretty sure I cannot go down there. <laughs> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do. The Delta station is close by. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And I know that the Kappa station was actually not too far from from here. So if I'm at the Delta Station, it's going to be a little bit south west. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Where is it? Hi! Real question for me is is the Kappa Station on land or not? Is it something underwater? Should I be on the island looking for it? Let's try in the water first, since that's where we are right now. Oh, he's punching rocks! He's doing his job. He's doing so good. I feel like we've gone a bit too far if we're looking for the Kappa station. Poke They look dangerous. Hello. Let's be friends. Please. Thank you. Can I use you for air? Because it's getting a little thin down here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is where having a sea truck comes in handy. Is that all that's here in this biome though? Like, it seems pretty barren, but it's got these jellyfish everywhere. Hollow chamber in iceberg interior detected. Okay, um, I've heard that before and I couldn't really figure that out. Oh, okay, you just have to find an opening, I guess. Can I take you? Laser cut ice. Oh, I did give it did give me air. Cool. Okay. I can at least get air out of that, huh? 
That's neat. What are you? You're different. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. Pinacarid. Pinacarid. What the heck is that? Is that supposed to happen? So what, that was just nothing? Oh no, it's something. It is something. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. But it's nothing I can scan. I guess I can follow it one way or another. plants, I think. I really want to go there, but let's check this out first. Amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to all the music. I'm getting chilly. Oh, that helps, I guess. Oh, okay, so we got steam vents here to help keep us warm instead of the thermal lilies, I guess. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier, Fire Robotics Center. Good thing they left the door open. Phi Robotics. This is where Sam worked. What? New blueprint synthesized. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. The lucky ones do? need to spy on the penglings. Like, I'm not a scientist studying their behavior. I'm just, you know, looking for my New sister. Acquired. How would it benefit me to spy? 
spy on them. Wow, y'all. Still living in here, huh? What are those? I, I can't do anything in here, though. Yes. Oh, that is a cute bed! Oh my goodness! That's cute. I was really hoping that this was going to be the big aquarium, you know, the, uh, the, the indigenous life containment aquarium. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. What? She said something's not right. Like, like what? I mean, like, yeah, the place is kind of torn up. They, there was something, something happened here, but, um, I can totally make this, except I need to find something called a snow stalker. Okay, <laughs> I'll fight him. I'll take his fur. That's all we need though is like four furs and a bunch of fiber mesh. Oh, it's a hover bike. So it's something to help you travel on land a little bit faster. So Sam was sort of dating Danny and um, like they were falling for each other I think and then Danny pulls this shit on her. Yeah, that's rough. Resources behind loose rock, so maybe I can punch the rocks and get resources out of them. Or from behind them. So something I'm wondering is, since I'm playing in freedom mode, can I eat and drink? Is that even possible for me? I should try it. Because temperature still affects me. So this can go places that I can't. So maybe it can, like, scan things that I can't. So, like, can I even drink the disinfected water? I don't think it's possible. I don't know if these things are useful or not, but I'm taking them. Who's with me? Hmm, so were they arguing about stuff? I mean, of course they were arguing about stuff.
sparkling. It's so... That's just... It's so sinister. Because obviously this is... This is not indicative of how it actually went down. So, um, our teleporters are not, uh... Online? I don't know if we can get them online. But, um... Currently we cannot use them. And it doesn't seem like we can do anything with them. Sinew tree? Gross. Maybe I can build a habitat here. <sighs> That's one of those guys. Okay, um... Let's come back. I saw a bunch of titanium. Right here! How much more quartz do I have? I haven't been picking it up. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. It's good to know that even without power, you can still get warm in one of these, though. Uh, so I don't have any more quartz on me. I can probably drop things in here and just let them float around, though. This is taking up. Oh, I can't just drop those? It won't let me drop things in here. You cannot just drop things inside buildings. Hmm. I'm gonna hunt down some quartz. Okay, well, we at least have somewhere to store stuff. I'd like to get a power source going on here, if possible. What are you? This is where they were sending the... a penguin. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. But seriously, like, this dangerous weather bullshit is so obnoxious. Okay then, I'll take it. I hate this. I hate that I can't see anything.
think I need quartz now in order to make a solar panel. doesn't really seem to be much here. Alright, I'm a little overloaded on silver now. I actually need titanium, of all things. There really doesn't seem to be anything down there to me. I think I'm going to call this episode here because I didn't realize how long I'd been going for. Um, I'm going to keep... Weather approaching. I'm going to keep shelter. working on my shelter. I'm going to keep trying to get resources. We'll try to build that shelter up a little bit. And then I want to try to take on one of these uh, big furry creatures and try to get its fur and make it cold soon. So thanks so much for joining me for Subnautica Below Zero. Hope to see you next time.